Hello folks, this is John Oaks here with Hangsters Hot Rods. We are here once again in our photo studio in our uh, Pennsylvania showroom to once again go over a new addition to our inventory and that would be this beautiful car sitting right behind me here. Now this is a 1969 Chevrolet Chevelle here. It's got all the SS, the 396 styling cues. Um, so we're going to go over this car with you today all the way around inside even underneath and fire this motor up like we always do but before I do that let me just give you kind of the the basics here for this particular car obviously you see it's done here in the red exterior with the black trim as far as the decals and so forth go all the 396 and SS badging we'll show you that as we walk around the car as far as the drive line we've got a period correct 396 cubic inch big block Chevrolet motor. We've got a turbo 400 automatic transmission and we also have a GM 12 volt posi 276 rear end in this car. As far as accessories, uh, meaning steering and braking and such, we've got power steering and we also have power brakes on this car and those are our disc brakes up front and drums of course out on the back. So that's kind of your basic rundown. Now we'll go ahead and start with our walk around so I can point out to you everything that I normally do with all these uh, muscle cars. So again, starting at the front here all the body panels are in great 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 condition on this car uh, very nicely aligned and placed on the car here uh, that beautiful red exterior looks very good on this car nice shiny paint all the way around of course like I mentioned we do have that black stripe that runs all the way back the side of the car there um, as far as our bright work goes of course we've got the chrome front and rear bumpers we also have the the bright work as far as the wheel lip moldings go now these are all in great shape on this car all attached good and secure so again there's nothing loose on these um, and there's no denser dings anywhere on them these look great wheel and tire combination on this car we've got the 15 inch factory rally wheels here with the beauty rings and the center caps as you can see 15 inch wheels all the way around and then BF good rings radial TA tires here again a very popular choice when it comes to this classic muscle car uh, realm here the guys seem to love those tires they're a good performing tire um, they're priced right again they look good on the car too um, now as far as badging as I mentioned we've got those SS 396 badges here on the front fender if we come back a little bit more bright work here to go over we've got our mirrors now we have both the driver and passenger side mirror got the rectangular shape here chrome finish and then the glass is in great shape far as our doors go and such um, we do have the bright work as far as those drip rail moldings go and those as you can see very straight all the way back good and secure to the car and again I always feel through that rain gutter and that is nice and smooth as far as the glass, both the door glass and the quarter window glass here, no chips, cracks, or scratches to speak of. Again, you can tell they are slightly tinted. And even the bright work down here on the edge of our quarter window is in great shape with no pitting there. Same thing with our chrome door handles. These are in great shape too. The other thing on these cars, as far as panel fitment and alignment, We've got our gaps here to the front, as well as on the back side here, very uniform. All of your elevations, whenever you look at the front fender and the quarter panel in relationship to that door, all of which all line up, body lines all line up and such also. So again, everything fits very, very nice on this car. Let's open our door up. We'll take a look at the interior next. So as you can see, it's got the all black interior. We've got black bucket seats up front, bench seat in the back. Of course, the front seats do have the headrests. 
black carpeting also no rips or tears or fading there no rips or tears or fading in any of the seat upholstery we've got the factory dash factory instrumentation we do have three aftermarket gauges though located directly in the middle of the dash down below those three gauges are obviously going to be the common three your oil pressure water temperature and your voltmeter just up above we've got an aftermarket AM FM cassette player and of course the factory heater controls full length center console horseshoe shifter and it's got the sport style wheel the three bar wheel there with a comfort grip uh, uh, around that there so it's easy to steer all of your seat belts there are all included also both the fronts and the rears door panels on the car look to be in great shape too even the little armrest pads here where you'll normally see some wear and tear these are all in great shape no rips or tears there and again you've got all the SS396 badging on the interior as well. Now the only other thing here before we close our door is going to be all of our weather stripping on our seals up around all your windows here down your quarter window and even the weather stripping here on your door all securely fastened all in great shape no rips or tears anywhere there even has the little rubber bump stops here um, so that when you close the door you get a good solid uh, close there good solid thud um, and everything as I said closes nice and easy so you know everything's adjusted very very nice in the car as we continue to walk back the rear quarter panel again nice and straight there's no waviness to this car whatsoever and like I said the elevation on the door looks very good the whole way down the side of the car as we get to the rear of the car we'll obviously look up top here at our rear window no chips cracks or scratches in this rear window either and again your bright work your window moldings all the way around all securely fastened no dents or dings no scratches polished up very well looks very good back here trunk lid on the Chevelle again adjusted very well you can see your gaps all the way around your elevations with your quarter panel to your trunk lid those all look to be really really nice also and then we'll look at our tail lights too both the lenses as well as the bezels here all of which look good the lenses no cracks or chips or anything out of those that looks really good of course a beautifully chromed rear bumper no pitting or scratches whatsoever on this of course right in the middle of your tail panel more of the SS 396 badging there and then of course on your trunk lid there you've got that Chevelle script emblem up on top there now we'll go ahead and open up our trunk that way you get to see what the interior of that looks like so first the key does in fact work the latch as we raise that trunk lid up first thing is the hinges and the spring all functioning. As you can see, it's holding itself up there. The underside of the trunk lid, the same red as the exterior of the car. We even have the spare tire and the jack instruction label still on the underside of the trunk lid. All your weather stripping all the way around that trunk looks good. Um, all very nice and soft, no rips or tears anywhere. And then your rain gutters or your water channels here on both sides are all good and solid and that's gonna direct that water right out the back of the car. Inside your trunk, a very nice looking trunk on this 69 Chevelle here. Uh, as you can see, we've got a full set of floor mats here that go with the car. Trunk mats in great shape. The trunk itself is in great shape too. It's got the gr gray and white trunk spatter paint. All your drain plugs are all there, all installed. And you see here, you've got the spare tire, the cover and everything there. All looks to be really, really nice underneath here we'll close this up and again that shuts nice and easy too and we'll work our way around the passenger side of the vehicle uh, so again same thing look up the along the side of the car here and we see that everything is nice and straight the whole way down the side of the car we've got the antenna up here on the quarter panel now this is not a power antenna it's a manual one and it does raise and lower you just have to do that on your own there again the black stripe same thing as the other side that all looks good we 
wheel and tire, all your wheel lip moldings, all of that is in really nice shape. We'll come up here now to the, uh, the door and so forth. All of our moldings over on this side, just as nice as the other side. No dents or dings, no scratches or pitting whatsoever. That rain gutter is nice and smooth all the way through. And again, even your uh, trim work down that quarter window, all very nice. Gaps on the door here, very, very uniform there, front to back. Again, so again, that door's been adjusted very nice. Passenger side mirror, same as on the driver's side. Rectangle, uh, and then the chrome finish, and the mirror, the glass itself, all in great shape. And again, the side glass and quarter window glass, no chips, cracks, or scratches to speak of there again on this side. All of that looks good. Let's go ahead and open our door now from this side. That way you get to see the interior from both sides. And again, just more of the same. The dash itself uh, looks to be in good shape here. Looks like there might be one small little crack in the very top side of the uh, dash there. Uh, but again, that's just kind of common with these cars. All of which though, general condition is all very, very nice. As you can see here, those seats, the upholstery is in great shape. Uh, your uh, carpeting, same thing. No rips, tears, or fading there. That all looks good. Again, I've already mentioned the seat belts the fronts are in fact retractable though too um, so you don't have to worry about you know latching them uh, keeping them nice and neat they'll do that on their own all of your seals up around the window here all in great shape no rips or tears there even your quarter window seal back there that is in nice shape there too and anchored good and secure just like the weather stripping on your door here all nice and soft anchored securely and again those those little rubber bump stops are installed on this side also. So that's our interior. Close that door up, it shuts nice also. The matching SS396 on the front fender, just the opposing side now. And then that brings us around to the front of the vehicle. So on our 69 Chevelle here up front, we've got the chrome bumper up front here to match the one on the back. Um, no pitting or scratches whatsoever. That chrome is in beautiful condition here. The grill, same thing, it's in great shape. Um, there's nothing that's broke or cracked or anything looks in really good shape the ss 396 right in the center of course we've got our headlights here these are going to be your traditional sealed beam glass lenses here and again there's no chips or cracks in any of the lenses high beam or low beam um, you've got the chevelle script up here on your header panel and then this is your steel ss style hood here again you can tell that it's kind of got the the dual scoops up here with the bright grill work here up on top which looks good you've got some more of that trim along the back edge of the hood here which looks nice and then again your windshields in great shape with no chips or cracks there same thing with all of your bright work you're molding around the windshield that all looks good windshield wipers the arms are in good shape and again a nice set of wiper blades on this car too so we'll come around the front now this is when we get to open the hood up and start to talk a little bit about what's underneath here as far as motor and transmission goes. So with the hood up, again, the hood latch does work. Um, the hood hinges and springs all functioning as they should. Underside of the hood here done in the black and all of your hood insulation is in there as it should be. All looks very, very nice here too. You don't see any pieces hanging down or frayed out. These look fairly new here. So again, all looks well under the hood. As far as the engine compartment now, Engine itself, as I mentioned, is a period correct 396 cubic inch big block Chevy. It's got a few things on it here to kind of brighten it up, uh, you know, make it nice and shiny. So one of those is going to be the air cleaner lid and base. Um, it's got the 396 uh, decals on it, the turbojet 350 horse decals as well. Underneath that air cleaner, we've got a Holley 750 CFM carburetor. Uh, it does have 
the electric choke. Uh, and then underneath that, we can see it's got an Edelbrock Torker 2 aluminum intake there too for your air and fuel delivery. For the ignition side of things, we've got an MSD Pro Billet distributor underneath here. Um, nice set of plug wires here. It's got that MSD distributor. That'll help a little bit. It's got kind of the stalker OE style um, um, uh, coil on it there as well. Uh, more flashy stuff underneath the hood. You've got the big block Chevrolet valve covers. They've got the correct stickers on them. You've got a breather over here on the passenger side along with the PCV valve over on the driver's side. Um, and then again, all of your hoses, all of your lines all look to be very nice and neat underneath here. Very clean underneath the hood. All of your hose clamps all look to be in good shape. No no leaks or drips anywhere that I can see underneath here. Got the chrome alternator, got the chrome water pump as well. Uh, looks like some aluminum pulleys here as far as the fan or the water pump pulley and the crank pulley down below. All the belts have been looked over and those are in good shape. Now this also has, as I mentioned earlier, the power brakes, disc brakes up front, drums on the rear, just typical GM components up front. Uh, and then of course, like I said, the drum brakes on the rear with the emergency brake all hooked up and then it does again have the power steering there as well. As far as exhaust to help this thing breathe, um, they've elected to keep the cast exhaust manifolds on the car and again this isn't uncommon. A lot of people will leave those on uh, for the simple fact they just they seal up a lot better seem to than what a set of aftermarket headers do. Plus depending on what kind of room you have, again on one of these cars you should have enough room Room. but again a big block motor you're kind of limited there as far as space you know between uh, your a arms and your frame and so forth um, so yeah you've got those stock cast exhaust manifolds and then I believe this was the full three inch exhaust stainless steel all the way back through with the X pipe on it and a set of I believe they were stainless magna flow mufflers on this car so all of that very nice for this particular car and you'll get to see how nice the underside here is in just a little bit at this point I always like to you know let you folks know out there that depending on where you're watching the video from you may not be on our company website I would always recommend that you go there it's hanksters.com um, you'll be able to go there see this car upwards of a hundred photos of it you'll see this video you're gonna see the retail pricing and what that all includes and then you're also going to see a full list the description of this car all the options and so forth forth there. Um, also with any of our cars that we have here in stock, if you see uh, accessories or something that you want to maybe add on to that car, for instance on this car, one thing that just jumps out, uh, just an easy one, AC, air conditioning. Uh, we get a lot of people that want that air conditioning added. We definitely can do all kinds of uh, upgrades and installs. Um, I just ask that you would reach out to us, um, let us know exactly what it is you're looking to have added, and we'll be glad to get your pricing on parts and availability on that, and as far as the labor goes to get you a complete price. Um, with that said, we'll take just a moment now to close all this up, and then we're gonna go ahead ahead and get this on our lift and then I'll meet back up with you underneath the car so we can show you the complete underside and then fire that motor up. Hey folks, welcome back. Here we are in the shop here with the 69 Chevelle up on the lift. And again, we're gonna go through this car front to back, the complete underside. I'm gonna go over with you all of the components that I see underneath here. And I'll go ahead and give you a description of the uh, condition of everything here. So starting at the front, again with the Chevelle, nothing too much to talk about other than, you know, we've got our chrome front bumper here. Um, back behind that, the radiator. So again, stock radiator here, that all looks all nice and dry across the bottom. I see no leaks or drips anywhere, not at the drain petcock, not at the bottom radiator hose, nowhere along that bottom. The fan shroud itself all intact here, and again, it is all solid. There's no pieces broke or cracked or anything, good and solid. 
uh, radiator shroud there. And of course the fan blade, that all looks good. Again, we saw that from up top. Um, come back a little bit further. We'll talk a little bit now about the suspension and the steering and the braking components here. So starting with the suspension, uh, we have a one inch sway bar up front here. Um, all the way across here, we look at the bushings at the frame and also at the sway bar end links and all of those look good. I don't see any splits or cracks anywhere. Looks like everything's gonna be nice and tight here. Help this car handle. As far as the steering, we've got power steering on this particular car. And we always check things like the uh, pitman arm, the drag link, the tie rods, and the tie rod ends. And everything all looks really nice underneath here. Um, tie rods are nice and straight. The ends all look good. They have the little rubber dust boot covers on them. So those are all intact. Everything looks as though it's been greased and maintained um, probably on a regular basis on this car. Looks good. Um, as far as the uh, suspension, the arms on this car, we've got just your stock OE stamp steel arms here, your upper and lower control arms. Um, those all look to be in good shape. Shocks, the mounting hardware, that all looks to be in good shape on both sides. And even the ball joints. Again, same thing here, the rubber dust boot covers all intact. And that's going to keep that grease in, dirt and debris up. And then, of course, we've got um, the wheels and tires here. Wheels are 15 inch. Those are the factory style rally wheels there that we saw from the walk around video. Beauty rings, center caps, all there. And as far as the tires go, BF Goodrich Radial TAs. Again, very popular tire with these cars. Up front, we've got the 215 60 R15s. Um, and then on the back there, I'll go over those sizes when we get back there. Of course, that front cross member, that's the important part of this whole thing. That's where all your suspension bolts off of. That is nice and straight does not look like it's ever been touched with anything. And then brakes, this car has power brakes up front, um, disc brakes here on the front, just looks to be typical GM components. So whenever it's time to change out those pads and rotors and such, should be able to go to any auto parts store there and grab that stuff. And then this car does have the drum brakes on the rear, complete with the emergency brake all hooked up and functional. If we come in here towards the center of the car now, we'll start talking about the drive line on this particular vehicle. So again, as discussed earlier, this is a period correct 396 cubic inch big block Chevrolet motor. Obviously from the underside here now, we can tell we've got an oversized oil pan. Um, it's got the dual kick on it um, so that you can get a little bit more uh, oil in there and that never hurts. A little bit of extra oil, uh, nice clean oil that always helps with a motor like this. Um, that oil pan all the way around your uh, seal nice and dry same thing with the drain plug and I don't see any wetness on the back side of the pan there that would you know elicit a, a leak say like at your rear main it is nice and dry as far as the transmission goes this is that turbo 400 automatic transmission of course we can see it's got the flywheel or uh, torque converter cover on it here the pan itself is a B&M finned pan here, so that's going to help with cooling also. And again, that pan is nice and dry all the way around. Even your transmission lines coming back to it all nice and dry. Um, we always check that output shaft seal too, and that is dry too around there. Of course, that's where that slip yoke from your drive shaft slides into it there. Transmission cross member looks to be in good condition as well as that tail shaft mount for it as well. Before we get too far, of course, we look right up here and we see this very nice exhaust system on this car. Now it starts with the exhaust manifolds up top, comes down here and you can see that looks to be a full three inch exhaust all the way back there. You'll see a nice set of stainless steel Magnaflow mufflers. As a matter of fact, I believe that's what this whole exhaust system is. Stainless there, it's got the X pipe in it here also. All the really nice style uh, exhaust clamps here. Um, you don't have those U-bolts and all that stuff. These are really nice and keeps everything good and solid underneath here. Um, so again, yes, uh, very nice looking exhaust system on this car. And I'll bet you that's gonna sound really good when it comes time for us to fire it up. 
As far as the frame and the floors go next, the frame, of course, we know on the Chevelle, full frame car. So again, those frame rails all the way back the sides here all look to be nice and square, good and straight all the way back. Our pinch welds underneath here look to be nice and straight on both sides. And the rocker panels are good and solid from underneath the car here. As far as the floor goes, for the most part, the floor all looks good and solid. It really does. Um, but you can tell it's probably had a few patches here and there. Uh, one right up here looks like under the footboard on the driver's side. But again, looks to be done nicely there. All seam sealed nice and neat. Um, possibly another patch back here per se. Um, but again, everything's been not done nice here. All the correct metal. You can see all the stamping lines. All the bracing is all intact. And like I said, no holes now. It's all good and solid underneath here. Uh, all of our brake lines and fuel lines are run nice and neat through the frame rails of the car all the way back. You even got the uh, that spiral winding or that wrap that goes around them. Anytime you have uh, uh, maybe a little harder bend in a line, they do use that so it prevents that line from crimping shut. Um, so again, everything's all nice. And as I mentioned there earlier, it does in fact all have all of the emergency brake uh, hookups and it is hooked up and functional. Uh, drive shaft, steel shaft here all the way back. It is a balanced shaft, so that's gonna eliminate driveline vibration. The rear end on this particular car, now this is a 12 volt rear end, posi unit inside here with a 276 gear. As far as the differential cover here, you can see it's got a really nice diff cover on there to dress things up underneath, and it is nice and dry all the way around. Again, all your brake lines all the way back here even, all nice and dry. It has the, um, the OE style uh, control arms, but these would be for the SS Chevelle. Uh, again, they have the boxing done to them as it would have had from the factory. It even has the rear sway bar on the rear as well. So again, that's gonna make this car really nice and tight. It should handle very well for a bigger 69 Chevelle. Um, as far as the shocks go, got a set of air shocks back here. And again, those are nice too, because again, with just the simple um, you know, touch of an air hose on these, you can go ahead and either raise or lower the rear end, put it to the ride height that you like, where it rides the best, or just whatever look that you like it, the car to have, um, you could do that very easily with these shocks here. And to finish off that exhaust system, you've got those probably, again, like I said, three inches, what it looks like to me, three inch tailpipes up over the rear end and exiting out each of the quarter panels. They've got a nice slash cut put on the ends of those tailpipes um, just to give it a good finished off look. As I mentioned earlier, it's got the drum brakes back here. And again, the 15 inch rally wheels with the beauty rings and center caps. Um, the BF Goodrich radial TA tires back here as well. And on the back here, we've got 255 60 15s for our tire size here. And then as we come back to kind of finish up everything here, you've got your fuel tank. Again, the fuel tank looks to be in great shape. No dents or dings underneath here. Our straps and all of our mounting hardware here all looks to be very, very nice here. Even the fuel fill neck looks to be in great condition. Fuel lines are nice and dry all the way back here too. And again, your frame rails all the way to the back all look to be in good shape. As far as the trunk floor, from what we can see from underneath here, everything all looks good and solid. Of course, we got to see the rest of that trunk floor from up above whenever we looked inside there. Um, that's pretty much everything for the underside of our Chevelle. Um, let me just remind you folks out there that we are in fact an ATC trailer dealer. We've got multiple models right here in stock, uh, on our lot, ready to be purchased, ready to use for one of these cars here to go in also. Um, so for any of you car guys out there or car girls out there that are looking to purchase not only maybe a car, but maybe a trailer or maybe just a trailer, um, definitely you know hit us up there. Go to our car website even. You can check out the trailers through there. It's uh, Just go to our drop down menu for our inventory. Click on the trailer tab. You can get to it that way or you can go directly to our trailer uh, 
trailer website at hankstershaulers.com. And again, you'll see all of our inventory, pictures of every trailer, pricing, all the descriptions, all the options, um, everything that you should need there. If you have any questions or you need any assistance, uh, don't hesitate to give us a call. We'll be glad to help you out there. So let's go ahead and get this down off the lift, go underneath the hood, fire this motor up, and let's see what that exhaust system sounds like. <laughs> 